your aftermarket injectors could be causing engine wear. And today I'm going to do a fairly lengthy talk about what makes a great direct injection injector. So let's start off with a stock Honda injector and take some measurements and see what it can do. The stock Honda injector has got a great spray pattern. It's got what we call a 50 degree cone angle, whereas the spray comes out at the end of the injector at 50 degrees. But it's got something that you're not aware of and that's called a bend angle. Now when this is put in the cylinder head, it doesn't spray straight out. The nozzle at the end is designed to bend the spray around about 20 degrees so that sprays more directly down the cylinder so to get better evaporation so that it doesn't wash oil off the cylinder bores. You get better atomization and you get cleaner fuel burning and this is what you need for your engine. So this is the stock injector. Now let's compare this with other injectors on the market which is the Hondata 1530cc injector and let's compare it with a competition injector to find out what they do and how they do it. The Hondata 1530cc injectors have a cone angle of 49 degrees which is 3 degrees different from stock, it's almost the same as stock and the Hondata 1530cc injectors have a bend angle of 18 degrees, again almost the same as stock. The competition injector has a cone angle of 36 degrees so it's quite a bit narrower than the stock Honda injector so the evaporation isn't as good and it has a bend angle of 8 degrees so the competition injectors are very very much like a fire hose. Now we put a special mesh under the injectors and we spray them through the mesh to measure where the fuel was going. So have a look at this and you can see where the fuel is going in your cylinder according to the kind of injector. Now the difference between stock and Hondata injectors and the competitions is the way that the holes are machined and put into the end of the injectors. The best holes are counterboard but the competition they put a straight hole, they drill a hole and that leads to again a fire hose effect and does not help the fuel atomization at all. Now this fire hose effect has a bit of a nasty byproduct meaning it will spray fuel on the far side of the cylinder wall and it will wash oil off your cylinder bore. Bet you didn't know that, or we didn't until we started measuring it and looking at it. So some of the competition injectors can reduce the life of your engine, which is not good. Another effect of poor atomization of your fuel mixture is fuel puddling on the top of your piston. So that leads to, again, your fuel air mix not burning properly. Here's what happens when you have an injector that does not atomize well. The injectors spray the fuel into the engine and it partially burns in the combustion chamber and as it comes out of the exhaust it continues burning, it continues burning through the turbocharger and continues burning through the catalytic converter and you might measure a correct air fuel ratio at the secondary oxidant sensor but the car is running lean in the cylinder but it's running okay by the time the fuel burn is complete at the secondary oxidant sensor. So realistically you don't have any idea of what your fuel ratio is but you do know that it's going to be running lean in your cylinder and that's not a good thing. I have seen exactly this happen in an engine where the fuel didn't atomize properly and it burned an engine down. Have a close look you'll see aluminum around the top of the cylinder where the top of the piston melted. Hondata has developed a new high pressure fuel line. We've designed it from this end to this end and this end is the restrictor otherwise known as the fuel pressure dampener which cuts overly high fuel pressure fluctuations and is similar to the fuel pressure dampener as found in B-series engines. It's absolutely necessary. We have designed this to provide enough fuel volume for flex fuel or for over 650 horsepower of race fuel. Drilling out this restrictor is not advised because it could make your engine less reliable. Competitor injectors can lock up. In this case, here's one competitor injector locking up at 210 bar. Your injector locks up, 
you run lean and you can cause injector or engine failure. You do not want that. Whereas we have tested our 1530cc injectors to close to 300 bar to make sure that they'll function reliably for you. Increasing your fuel pressure reduces the volume of fuel your fuel pump can supply. I tested this out on a Civic and a Prelude a long time ago and at 35 psi for example the 99 Civic SI fuel pump could deliver enough fuel for 400 horsepower but at 75 psi the volume of fuel dropped so that only 200 horsepower could be made. You might think that high pressure delivers greater volume, but it doesn't. This is my garden hose flowing a fairly large amount of water, but let me change the pressure and see what it looks like. You can see from the higher pressure spray that the atomization is better because the droplets are smaller. Let's go and test this by filling a bucket for 10 seconds and see how much fluid goes into the bucket. One. We're going to mark the level of volume of water for the high pressure test and after this we're going to do the low pressure test. Okay, let's rerun this test using the same bucket at the same ho and the same hose at lower pressure. Right. And as you can see, the volume of water flowed at lower pressure exceeds the volume of water flowed at the higher pressure. Let's take a look at a cutaway of a direct injection fuel pump. When the lobe from your direct injection cam pushes up the piston inside the direct injection fuel pump, you get somewhere in the order of 3,000 psi of fuel in this area here, which is then pushed out to your cylinders. But the fitment between this piece of metal and this piece of metal is an interference fit. It's a very, very close tolerance. And the higher pressure that you ask for, the more fuel leaks from the high pressure side down to the low pressure side. So. The more fuel pressure that you ask for, the less volume of fuel that your direct injection fuel pump delivers. It's no di different from an in-tank pump. Higher fuel pressure means you deliver less volume of fuel. So what is atomization? Atomization is breaking your fuel down into the smallest droplets possible because if the droplet is too big, your fuel droplet will not evaporate and you'll end up with unburned fuel going out your exhaust. So a tuning tip for what we've learned is decrease the fuel pressure command at around peak torque and as you get closer to peak RPM increase the fuel pressure to improve your atomization. That's going to give you the best power curve for your vehicle. Tuning high horsepower direct injection engines can give you misfire and this is something that a lot of you probably haven't come across before. It's when the fuel injection event overlaps the spark event. So the fuel is still being injected at the same time that the spark is being ignited. So what you have to do is you have to start the injection a little bit earlier to allow time for the fuel to get into the cylinder and evaporate. Here's how you tune out misfire. What you've got to do is start the injection early. So there's a start of injection table you can use to start your injection 5, 10, 15, 20 degrees earlier. And you've got the ability to also you've got to keep your injected duty low. Keep it under 35%. If you're starting to get it up into the high 30s, early 40s, there's a chance that your injection and your spark will overlap and will create misfire. So run bigger injectors like Condata's 1530cc. Reduce your duty cycle and start your injection earlier. Here's the summary of the Hondata 1530cc injectors. They idle well. They get a great air fuel ratio. They can make over 615 horsepower with flex fuel and they can make over 650 horsepower on race fuel. Available now from any Honda dealer or from Honda's online store. Check it out now and stay tuned.